in this video, we'll consider another way of measuring velocity called angular velocity. In the last video, we considered the following situation. You are moving along a circle. You start somewhere and you end somewhere. And you travel along this path. And we talked about velocity in this context. And velocity is just the standard distance equals rate times time formula. Let's give the velocity that we talked about in the previous video a special name. In the previous video, we just called it velocity. Now we're going to call it linear velocity. And we gave formulas for the linear velocity in the previous video, distance equals rate times time. So velocity is distance divided by time. And then we gave another formula where we replaced this S with R times theta. Here's a different way of measuring the rate or the velocity of this person. You start here and you travel along this arc. Wherever you are on this arc, you create an angle with this line segment. Initially, the angle you create is small. But as you get further and further from the starting point, the angle becomes bigger and bigger until you reach the end point when the angle is as big as it's going to get. So as time passes, the angle you create changes. And it makes sense to ask how quickly the angle changes. That brings us to the notion of angular velocity. Which we'll denote with a kind of stylized W. We'll start with the standard distance formula. This angle was initially zero. It increased to theta, so the distance the angle travels is theta, and distance equals rate times a time. So this gives you an equation for the angular velocity, just like up here, the distance equals rate times time form to the, gave you an equation for the linear velocity. 
Now, linear and angular velocity are related to each other. We saw that we can rewrite this velocity formula as V equals R theta divided by T. The linear velocity is R theta divided by T. R theta divided by T can be rewritten as R times theta divided by T. And theta divided by T is the angular velocity. So V, the linear velocity, equals the radius times the angular velocity. And again, you need theta to be measured in radians here. Because to go from S to R theta, that form to the required that theta be measured in radians. <laughs>